Adventure Quest Worlds Wiki 2332 pages. S-I-G-N-I-N-R-E-G-I-S-T-E-R. Explore Storyline Weapon Community. In, Evil, Characters, Evil Characters. Gravelin. See also, Gravelin the Good. Gravelin is the current Empress of the Shadow Zith, the main force of evil in the world of lore and elemental. Champion of Light. Daughter of the Doom Knight Sepulchre and Linaria Altian, King Altian's wife, she inherited her father's empire. After his demise at the hands of Dracath Slugroth, the newly revealed Champion of Chaos. After being orphaned and have her flying fortress brought down Gravelin negotiated a truce with the forces of good to end the threat of chaos and avenge her father. Contents, Hide. 1 History. 1.1 Prologue. 1.2 Training the Undead. 1.3 Doomwood Saga. 1.4 Adventure Quest Worlds, Zombies 1.5 Chaos Finale 2 Quests 2.1 Non-Member Quests 2.2 Daily Quests 3 Dialogue 4 Trivia 5 References History Gravelin's existence was long kept a secret by her father Sepulchre as she was also the daughter of King Altian's wife, Queen Linaria Altian. She was very troublesome to care for as a baby, always making up trouble with the undead and with Sepulchre's busy schedule of evil and no mother around, baby Gravelin was taken care of most of the time by a host of different living nannies none of which lasted more than a day before making fatal mistakes save for one who was fired but spared. 1. Due to her yet unknown nature as Champion of Light, Gravelin had a lot of trouble raising the dead, her first one was a skeleton she named Chuckles because of his frequent bouts of laughter. Prologue when the undead of the shadows it assaulted the Green Guard capital of Sordaven, Gravelin watched her father personally lead the charge and invade the castle. And duel King Altian the Good in the throne room. 2. When Dracath Slugroth suddenly reappeared after years of laying low and killed Sepulchre, Gravelin's cries from the sky echoed and were heard by the new champion of chaos who and shot down Sepulchre's flying fortress leaving it crashed and grounded on mountain far away at Skullholm. 3. After the battle that left Sepulchre dead and Altian wounded, the hero was sent by the king to contact Gravelin at her fortress to learn of her whereabouts, where they learn that with her father gone, Gravelin inherited the entire Shadows of Empire and desired revenge. 4. She was willing to negotiate a truce with the forces of good in order to fight chaos, but first demanded favors be done and her father's inheritance be paid in full. And seven more. S-I-G-N-I-N-T-O-E-D-I-T Gravelin, Champion of Light. Faction, Evil. Shadow Zith. Race, Human. Gender, Female. Title, Empress of the... Shadow Zith. Champion of. Light. Relative Sepulchre. Father. Deceased. Linaria Altian. Mother. Deceased. Brittany, half. Sister. Deceased. Victoria, half. Sister. Tara, half sister. Status alive. Adventure Quest Worlds Wiki Explore Storyline Weapon Community Fandom Beta Fan Central Games Anime Movies TV Video Wikis Starter Wiki Training the Undead 
Gravelin gets bored waiting for the next chaos attack and summons the players to Shadowfall where they must decide the next option since King Ultian isn't up to taking. The fight to Dracath. General Sinery and General Tibias assist the hero into proving who is right. After slaying the shadow of the past, the players do their best to prove. The allegiance is strong and will help Gravelin depending on if they are on the side of good or evil. 5. Gravelin then changes her armor and states that she will act weak as a way to fool Dracath. Doomwood Saga When the Lycnoxus and his creation Vordred stormed Shadowfall with their army, they confronted Gravelin where it was revealed that he created her father's army and his flying fortress. Noxus then uses his magic to take control of Gravelin's army. Gravelin ended up Noxus and Vordred's prisoner when placed in slave clothes until the heroes came to rescue her. Noxus had Vordred command his army to surround the heroes so that he can finish her off. When Sally contacts Noxus about Ark Attack being sighted in Doomwood and sends Vordred back to Doomwood. Gravelin revealed that she had one undead loyal to her as the head of Chuckles Nox Noxus off of the throne and frees her. Gravelin then commands her soldiers to let the heroes pass so that they can fight Noxus. Once Noxus was defeated, Gravelin removed Noxus' head and placed Chuckles' head onto Noxus' body. She plans to have Cicero convert Noxus' head into a weapon for her to use before sending the heroes back to Doomwood. To fight Vordred and intercept Artiques, Gravelin gives the heroes a special amulet that belonged to her father so that it will help them in the battle against Vordred. In Gravelin's ending following the defeat of Vordred, she uses the Noxus head staff, made from Noxus skull. Gravelin gives Artiques an offer to side with her upon knowing that Artix is actually the champion of darkness which he declines. Gravelin then vows to finish what her father started once Dracath is defeated. Before leaving, Gravelin gives the hero the Noxus head staff. Gravelin awakens to find herself captive in the plane of darkness where Sepulchre is fighting Artix. It soon turns out to be a nightmare that Gravelin has as the Noxus. Headstaff tells Gravelin that she probably had a vision of the future. Noxus then tells Gravelin that her father was fit to lead the undead armies of the Shadows it as. Gravelin was surprised that Noxus knew Sepulchre before he became a Doom Knight and states that if she wants to know more about her father, she should look into the Forbidden Vault of the Necropolis. Seeing as it would require Sepulchre's helmet to enter the Forbidden Vault of the Necropolis, she lends Sepulchre's helmet to the players. Gravelin is later captured by Chaos Vordred and Sally claims the Noxus head staff as Noxus orders Chaos Vordred to kill the heroes. When Gravelin's last words were her wishing that her father was here. The tomb of Queen Linaria Ultian grants her wish and revives Sepulchre. When Noxus orders Chaos Vordred to stand down, Chaos Vordred goes on the attack only to be easily destroyed by Sepulchre as Sally and Noxus bow before Sepulchre. Gravelin detects that the Sepulchre present isn't the real Sepulchre. The tomb of Queen Linaria Ultian states that Sepulchre was killed by Dracath where there is no coming back from death. Dracath ends up warping reality to make it look like the Sepulchre has returned from the dead. After reality is restored, Nulgath and Dage the evil catch up to the group as Gravelin tells them, Sally, and Noxus that the Shadows Ith army will hunt down Dracath and make him pay for what he did to Sepulchre. Gravelin then orders Sally to rebuild Vordred in order to use him against Dracath. Adventure Quest Worlds, Zombies In the alternate timeline caused by Dracath, Gravelin appears at the point where she sees her father fighting King Ultian. When 
Dracath doesn't show up, King Ultian dies protecting the hero. When Sepulchre vanquishes death enough to cause the recently departed to return as zombies that obey Sepulchre's every command, Gravelin shouts to the players to get out of the palace. When the zombies break into battalion, it is eventually revealed that Gravelin is the champion of light, which explained by Gravelin isn't undead like her father and how she lit up enough to hurt a gal, as Sepulchre also learns this from his doom. Blade after Gravelin left. This causes Sepulchre to go after Gravelin so that he can open the portal to the plane of darkness. Sepulchre shows up to challenge Gravelin as an army of angry zombies and zombie dragons attack. The hero sees. Sepulchre about to deal the final blow to Gravelin. Sepulchre finds himself unable to kill his own daughter. Just then, Dracath appears and strikes at Gravelin only for Sepulchre to take the hit. Gravelin unleashes her full light powers to drive away Dracath. The Doom Blade then takes control of Sepulchre's body transforming it into Dark Sepulchre in order to finish the job. The players end up fighting Dark Sepulchre and managed to defeat him. Artix tells the hero that a shadow creature can only be slain by the blinding light of destiny as Dark Sepulchre gets up behind them. Gravelin leaves her fight with Dracath and grabs the Doom Blade which she purifies into a weapon that destroys Dark Sepulchre and restores reality back to normal. Chaos Finale Quests After the mission when Gravelin's castle falls down, you are able to go to Shadowfall and do missions of evil reputation by talking with Gravelin in her lair. Non-member quests Euthanize Gravelin needs a special liquid to cure her wounded skeletons. That liquid is produced by slimes. You need to kill one slime. Can be any green slime. Reward, 200 gold forward slash 100 XP forward slash 250 rep evil. Rattle battle, Gravelin needs to bolster her forces and asks you to ensure the help of eight rattlebones from the Bludrut Keep's first floor. It only counts if they are from Bludrut Keep. Reward, 200 gold forward slash 100 XP forward slash 250 rep evil. Advertisement. Advertisement. Gravelin's new armor looks. Advertisement. Show. Bonafide. Gravelin needs replacement parts for her skeletons, and she asks you to kill skeletons from Saw Davin's graveyard. Six Tibias and three Phalanges is enough. Tibias and Phalanges can be obtained from different Mostas as from the same one. Reward, 250 gold forward slash 150 XP forward slash 600 rep evil. Daily Quests Inquisitor Inquiry Gravelin needs more manpower, and chooses the Inquisitors from Citadel to help her. Kill eight guards and that should be enough. Don't know if it works as well for Captains and for Templars. Reward, 300 gold forward slash 200 XP forward slash 2000 rep evil. Dialogue Long unlive the shadows is we must restore our empire to its former power and crush Dracathas 13. Lords of Chaos. So, you have chosen to be a hero of evil, I shall test you to see if you are worthy of becoming my champion. Dracath will pay for what he has done. Then, my army of darkness will conquer this land. We are unstoppable. You say, excuse me, um... Your leader was curse bloated and your fortress just crashed into the side of a mountain. Indeed. It is true. The empire has been thrown into chaos. We have lost control of our forces and villains from around the globe are coming to claim. This throne for their own. 
we must move swiftly to increase morale and prepare ourselves before the first Lord of Chaos arrives. You say, we could hang up some motivational posters and invest in some self-help tapes. No. I must prove I am worthy to replace my father. First I need a symbol of power that will command the respect of those coming to challenge my right to rule. I need my father's armor. You must travel to the crypt in Sordaven where the knights are guarding my father's cursed doom knight armor. Bring it back to me to earn my trust. Now go. Recover the cursed armor of Sepulchre. Trivia. Gravelin is a virgin. 6. Her name is a pun on the word grave, which is likely because of her position as the leader of a large army of undead. She is the daughter of Queen Linaria Altian, making her the half-sister of Princess Brittany, Victoria and Tara. This may also make her the secret member of the royal family that Nyla talked about in Sordaven Castle. Despite Dracath having worked for Sepulchre before embracing Chaos, he and Gravelin never met in that time, as evidenced by his surprise when he first sees her. After killing Sepulchre. References. One Father's Day 2023. Two Altian vs Sepulchre. Three The Arrival of Dracath. Four Gravelin Dialogue Pre Chaos Crypt. Five Allegiance. Six Gravelin Virgin Proof. Evil. Categories. Community content is available under CC by SAR unless otherwise noted. Advertisement. Explore properties. Fandom. Muthid. Fanatical. Follow US. Overview. What is fandom? About. Careers. Press. Contact. Terms of use. Privacy policy. Digital Services Act. Global Site Map. Local Site Map. Community. Community Central. Others like you also viewed. Popular pages. Sepulchre Dracath Queen Elemental of Artix Linaria Victoria Gravelin The Thirteen Lords of. Thirteen Lords of Chaos. Dracath. Gravelin. Queen of Monsters. Sepulchre. Support. Help. Advertise. Media Kit. Contact. Fandom Apps. Take your favorite fandoms with you and never miss a beat. Adventure Quest Worlds Wiki is a fandom games community. View mobile site. Follow on IG TikTok Join Fan Lab.